Welcome to Cooking with Madho. I am making Trinidad lime infused pepper sauce starring fresh lime juice, West Indian scotch bonnets, carrots, garlic, turmeric, mustard. And into this mix, I promise you it's going to be hot. After all, the West Indies is popular for scotch bonnets. The scotch bonnet is popular throughout the West Indies and features in curries, stews, chows, and also jerk or green seasonings. More than that, it is popular in Latin America and West Africa. So if you want to make this recipe with scotch bonnet that you find beautiful, if not, you could replace it with your own peppers. Apart from using scotch bonnet, you could probably use habanero, sriracha, Thai chili, Indian ghost pepper, if you wish to. But the key other ingredients include garlic, carrots, turmeric, and definitely the lime, which adds unique rich flavor along with the vinegar for preserving purposes. I use a bare amount of common salt for my recipe and I avoid preserving my pepper sauce with sodium benzoate or potassium sorbate and the reason for this is the added chemical preservatives when consumed in large quantities by the human body will create medical complications though not in small amounts so I do not wish to take that risk. Into my blender, I add West Indian scotch bonnet, some carrots, the garlic, the turmeric. So the garlic there is going in. I'm definitely going to put some turmeric. That's the vinegar. I'm going to have to add the lime juice to it. And all of these things are added with some mustard and salt at the end. To ensure long-term storage of my pepper sauce, I ensure that the lid I use is very tight. I ensure that the bottle I keep the pepper sauce in is very clean and is glass. And I definitely keep it at room temperature without any kind of cross-contamination. I do not use any other spoon to dip into the pepper sauce bottle. For the blending process, I definitely use a blender. You could even use the magic bullet. I do not recommend using mini choppers. Food processors could work. You need to have a good instrument to make this pepper sauce so that it is pureed. I'm clicking on the grind or the pulse on the blender, the osterizer that I have. But you will know which button to choose. With the process complete, it is now important to transfer it to a clean jar. So I'm actually using a recycled commercial jar. Nothing is wrong with this because I've thoroughly rinsed it several times and I've placed it in hot water and then dried it. And now what I'm doing is I'm adding my pepper sauce to this bottle. In fact, I have two bottles. I'm adding my sauce too. Here I am with my two bottles of pepper sauce. Look at that smooth kind of consistency. Look at that. It's a little bit runny, but it's not running or watery. There was no water added. And it is consistent on its own, well integrated, homogenous. And that's how I like my pepper sauce. Easy to store. Look at that flow. I like my product because unlike commercial brands, I use fresh lime juice. I also use turmeric and no water. I also have a higher concentration of pepper, but that's okay. It's not going to be too hot because it will be cured in the sun for roughly three to five days. Of course, you may know stories about grandmothers putting this out in the sun for weeks and months, and that's quite okay. The pepper sauce can be left 
outside in the sun for several days, kept at room temperature, and it will cure and develop on its own, or it could be served fresh. Although there is no need for refrigeration, if you want to be on the cautious side, please feel free to keep your pepper sauce refrigerated. But I'm bragging that this product with the lime juice and the vinegar keeps it well preserved. So, bon appetit, mashike mogoyo, see you soon, chalgayo, adavars firmilinge.